What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we will talk about Ripple or XRP and the latest news and we will also take a quick look at the charts but before we are getting started I have to say that my new discord server is finally finished and this was a lot of work but I think that this will definitely pay off because right now we have a very nice discord server where we can talk about everything trading crypto related stocks you see here we have general discussions memes ideas watch list also i will add polls so for example which coin analysis you want to see next all this will happen right here on this discord server you can get access to this discord server do my patreon page this right here gives you access to my discord server and then we have nice conversations over there so definitely make sure to check that out it is the first link in the video description and now let's get right into xrp but before we are getting started i found a very nice picture today this one right here when your family congratulates you on the price of bitcoin but you're all in on xrp <laughs> i think some of you can definitely understand this and i hope you don't take that joke too serious and now let's get right into the analysis so first today we saw a big drop again i think how much how much was this from the peak to the dip about 34 percent and that happens due to this news right here coinbase to suspend XRP trading following SEC suit against Ripple and Coinbase has announced that it will suspend the XRP trading from the 19th of January 2021 10 a.m. PST time and already OKCoin, Bitstamp, OSL, never heard of that exchange Bixie also never heard of that exchange and also Crosstower already announced that they will also suspend XRP trading and maybe Kraken and Bittrex will follow. So definitely not a very good sign for Ripple because right now there is a lot of uncertainty and there is nothing that the market hates more than uncertainty and this is exactly what we are seeing in the XRP price you can see that we hit this resistance right here pretty exact at pretty exact 17 cents then we jumped back up right now we are sitting at 21.6 cents so there is still a sign that Ripple is still alive that is very good and it is also very good that this support right here has hold so far this daily candle also looks very nice right now but it's not closed yet and we have learned that in yeah two and a half hours almost everything can happen so let's not judge too quickly right here but from a technical perspective this right here that the support was holding is a very very positive sign also the rsi is on the lower edge which is also very nice we also have huge volume right here that is also a very positive sign but the problem right now is this bad news and this uncertainty that is driving xrp right now and that makes it really hard to judge where the price is going and no one really can tell you right now where the price is going of course some people will say yes of course the price will go up again or the price will go lower again but that is just speculation so as always but in the other cases we don't have this uncertainty right there also another thing that i want to show you where we were at yes i think at 18 cents i made a screenshot of this you can see that XRP market cap was lower than the market cap of Litecoin. So there was a quick 
flipping between XRP and Litecoin, but right now it flipped back right here. XRP now sitting at number four again, but today we also saw XRP at market cap rank number five, which is very, very unique. But hopefully we don't have to see this again in the best case. I also mentioned in my last video, when this thing, when this news that are setting XRP under pressure right now, when this news will turn out to be not as bad as we thought, then most likely we will see this when the price is back up here again. Also right now some hypothetical thoughts right here. For example, if the SEC gets XRP classified as security, in my point of view, this would, of course, in the short term, as we are seeing right now, would not be that good for XRP. But I really think that in the long term, this is not as bad as it looks right now. And from my point of view and in my opinion, this is just a thing that we have to go through and that is a little bit more or less painful right now for every XRP holder or investor and that is my point of view. Also I want to take a quick look at the resistance level from the Fibonacci retracement levels. So this levels this zone right here is our zone where we want to see XRP back again. So in this area right here from 41 cents, oops, from 41 cents to 55 cents, that would be a very positive sign for us. A very bad sign for us would be when we are hitting 41 cents and then going back down. But to be honest, I'm not really expecting this to happen in the short term time frame. So maybe in the midterm time frame, as I said, it all depends on the news. But when the people are realizing that this most likely is not as bad as we are thinking right now, then this could go very fast and that we get back into this zone right here, as I mentioned before, before there will be significant update news from the SEC. So that is my point of view. Of course, I will take a close look to XRP and if there should be significant changes or news, then of course I will update you on my channel. Also, let's take a quick look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, which I also mentioned in my last videos. This is still sitting at 70%, which is not really good. And this pattern right here also doesn't look very bearish right now. So most likely we still have to wait for our alt season. But in case you have another opinion on XRP or you have more infos, then feel free to write that down in the comments. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then leave a like, subscribe to this channel and also make sure to join my Discord community. The link is right down in the video description. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. And as always, seven steps.